Mm. Um, I'm really looking forward to being on a par as a carer to my cared for people. I mean, we were having a conversation about the fact that one of the things from the forum's perspective that's very exciting for us is that parity for carers and families. Mm. Um, because there is an assumption, I think, particularly with, I mean, with all carers, but particularly with family carers, and especially parent carers, because in their own eyes, they, they are one of the hardest groups to actually get to recognise that they are carers, because they, they've seen, seen themselves as parents. And they are, they're parents first, but they don't necessarily recognise the impact mm. of the fact that they are caring as much as they are parenting. Um, and that's always been a bit of a challenge for us. And so actually having an act that puts the conversation from the parent's perspective on, par- on a par with what they need for their children in order to keep the whole family well as a unit and the preventative agenda attached to it from the, from the Oils Forum's perspective is really, really exciting. You can sometimes feel, I suppose, you've done when the transition into adulthood in particular, when they suddenly reach the magic age of 18, it and you, it just suddenly your voice isn't there for them in the same way as it used to be, um, and that can be quite scary. So, yeah, and that was yeah, yeah that was the, the assumption is that obviously people should be able to be engaged and, and, and asked how much they want for themselves, and that that's absolutely right and it should be mm. the way but there are quite a lot of individuals out there particularly within the family caring setting where you've got and when talking about learning disability where you've got quite moderate complex needs and actually quite frankly the capacity for them to really you know expand on what I might regard as big life choices can be really difficult um, so I think it's it's also about one of the nice things about having the carer's views and the carer's needs being on par with the cared for is, is an awful lot of that information that carers know will be properly heard and taken into account alongside the individuals because clearly individuals need to be heard but in some cases it's genuinely true that carers have to speak for them because they can't Mm. speak for themselves I'm just thinking ahead of myself a little bit Um, because my uh, children aren't 18 yet but um, I am dreading that part Hopefully by the time this act is bedded in a bit, I won't be dreading it so much. <laughs> but it does bother me. Mm-hmm. A lot. Just the fact that it, it moves away from process and outputs to actually to actual outcomes. Proper outcomes. Because mm-hmm. I do think we've got... People have found themselves stuck in weird sets of processes. I mean, one of the things for family carers particularly is answering the same set of questions a thousand times about your your family's needs, mm. who you are, what matters to you, the history of your children, or from my perspective, I sat there and answered endless questions about my brother over and over again. 20 different people from slightly different professions all coming in asking the same questions. And, and the, the common data set situation here which is supposed to be shared across all the different you know professional departments mm. and things i mean it, it you know when that's up and running the impact that will have on its own as a remover for stress i think the carers will be huge